C++ classes can be created in two ways from inside the editor. If your C++ folder is not visible in the content browser, you can navigate to tools and select new C++ class. First, in this window, you have to select on which other class the new class should be based on. Under common classes, you can find classes that are commonly used as a starting point for a new class. Under all classes, however, you can find, as you probably already have guessed, all available C++ classes. So for now, let's select object as the base class and move to the next page. Here, we can give our new class a name and then create this new class. If you have created your project as a blueprint project, there might be currently the problem that it says fail to link patch. To solve this problem, we first have to close the editor and then from inside the code editor that you are using, we have to build the solution from here. Now the build should have succeeded without any problems and then you can start the, your project again from inside the code editor by pressing run. If you have the problem that your code editor doesn't display your project correctly, then you can try to go under tools and refresh the project and then open it again and see if this fixed the issue. Now, after we have created our first C++ class, we can also see that the C++ folder was created and we can also see that my first class was successfully created. Now we can use the second option to create a C++ class by navigating to your C++ folder and then pressing right click and then also select new C++ class. The first step is exactly the same as before. We first have to select a class on which we want to base our new class on. So now just for testing purposes, we select none, move to the next step where we also have to give a name. And what we also can do is putting this file in a new folder, either by typing the folder name into the path input field. And as you can see, also the path down below for the header file and source file gets updated automatically. Or you can also press the folder icon and select a folder where you want to create the new file in. Now, after you have created the class inside a folder, we get our first build error. We can see that the error is cannot open include file. So let's check it out in the code editor. Now in the code editor, we can see that our new folder is created and that both classes are inside this folder. And we can see that include causes some problem. If we now look in the path that is used for include, we can see that new folder slash my second class dot h. But as we have already discussed, both files are in the same folder. Therefore, it is not necessary to add the new folder directory to our path reference. So let's remove it. As you can see now, the other errors are also gone because now it properly can reference the .h file because the path that we entered for the include is now correct. For now, don't be confused by the different files, meaning header file and C++ file, because those we will handle in a future video. To quickly check our changes we made in code, we can use the live coding functionality of Unreal Engine. To start the compilation process by using live coding, we just have to press this small icon in the bottom right of the screen. And by pressing it, it basically starts the compilation process. Now you should see that the compilation was successful and the error that was there before is gone. So try to remember if you create a new C++ class and you get a build error right after the creation of this new class, check out the C++ file and remove the folder reference in the include path for the header file. Additionally, important to remember is that the compiled changes through live coding are only valid during the active session. That means if you close the editor and open it up again, the compilation through live coding is lost. To delete the files that we don't want anymore, we just have to go to the code editor, select the files we want to delete, press right click on them, edit and delete. Today's exercise should also be pretty simple. Try to create a new class called Coding Fundamentals Actor, which is based on the class Actor. Also, try to create this class inside a new folder and afterwards try to fix the build error by yourself. 
If you face any problems along the way, let me know in the comments and I try to help you. See you next time.